When I was um, working in London as a teenager, I uh, discovered MGM musicals. And I saw them all and I loved them all, but I particularly loved Singing in the Rain. And Singing in the Rain uh, for me was special because, well, I'm pretty sure it was the best of them. Um, beautifully directed by Gene Kelly and Stanley Donham, beautifully choreographed, very simple but beautiful choreography. And um, it was also a film about, it was funny, but it was also a, period, a film about a period that always interested me, which was the transition from silent films to sound films. And it's very accurate, actually, about, about some of the things that happened during that period. I've seen Singing the Rain, I don't know, 50, 60 times, or something like that. One occasion I saw it, um, after I'd come to Australia, I, went, I was back in London, and there was a special screening of it at the Barbican, organised by a friend of mine, in the presence of Gene Kelly. And uh, when the screening ended, uh, Gene Kelly um, answered some questions, and then uh, I was lucky enough to be taken backstage to meet him. And the thing that impressed me was that, although this was um, quite some time after the film had been made, he didn't look the least bit different. There was not a grey hair on his head, for instance. Um, and he was kind enough to agree that I could go and, uh, next time I was in Los Angeles, which was going to be not far ahead, that I could um, call him and arrange an interview with him. I was doing some radio work at the time, which I did. Um, when I went to his house in Beverly Hills, uh, I rang the bell and the door was opened by this little old bald guy um, who turned out to be Gene Kelly without his toupee. <laughs> of all the people that I've met, and this is kind of a, a, a story about the many people I've been fortunate enough to meet during my life, I think the time I spent with Gene Kelly was the most rewarding. Um, because not only was he a, a consummate artist and filmmaker, um, and a nice guy, um, but he was also politically very interesting too. He was... He was um, on the left during the struggles of the blacklist. His wife was blacklisted, uh, Betsy Blair, because she'd been a member of the Communist Party. And Kelly was a quiet but consistent supporter of people who had been blacklisted during that terrible period of McCarthyism. Um, so uh, I, I admired him a lot, and, and uh, I really um, appreciate the, the, the time with, that we spent together.